so on the 23rd of this month it would be um, June, July, August, September, to remember, it's six months until I lost you. Um, every time I keep saying that I lost you, I know that it's not lost because lost can be found. And the only way that I can find you is to be with you all, and that's not my plan. That's not my plan. Not yet. Not, 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 you know, my girls need me. My, uh, my children at school, they need me. And that's what I live for daily. Um, as you can see, the tears still there. The pain. Or oh, the pain. <laughs> Yeah, when I open up, the pain is still very there. I've tried to put a cup on it. I've tried to think and carry on as though this is what you would have wanted, Rich, for us to carry on. But it's getting a bit too hard. It's cl close to Christmas now. And um, I keep just thinking that you will be there. <laughs> You will be there on Christmas morning to watch your boys and wrap your presents that you bought them. <laughs> and that just hurts. It's just... Oh my God. It hurts. <laughs> I've, um... Oh, I'm going for counselling now. I've, um... I've got a hold of the number that was given months ago to talk to somebody <laughs> about the fact that you're gone and how that I can cope with that. Um, I, when I think about it though, I know that you're with mum and you, you love mum so much. I, you know, you were her boy. There's times, many, many times, I was jealous of that. So jealous. Because you were her boy. And she had such a strong connection with you. As she did all of us, but... You were her only boy. And she loved you so very, very much. And you knew that. <laughs> Which is probably why you found it so hard when she went. I'm just so sorry that I could be there because I was dealing with my own grief and I just wish that I could have been there more as the bigger sister and the more responsible sister but I wasn't <laughs> um so uh, I work for Reach South and they um, are very uh, responsible for the welfare of their staff very uh I would say emotionally connected to the fact that we go through these things. Um, and luckily I've been offered counselling and I made that call. I'm just waiting for them to phone me back just to get a clinical assessment on who best to talk to for the condition that I'm in. I've tried to be strong and when I'm in work, it's a different world. Yeah, the children, they need me. They really, really need me. And, and that's what I hold on to. I keep getting um, cold off sometimes from my girls, and that's a bit hard. That's really hard to, um, to cope with. To know that I'm doing something wrong and I wanted to be so strong for them and I did try I have really really tried and I am I know I'm strong but it's not even been a year you know it's been six months and I haven't allowed myself that time 
Lucy put up a, po a post on um, on Facebook the other day of our angels, and I'm so used to just seeing Dad and Angie. And then, you know, Mum, I got used to after about 18 months. You know, I accepted that as hard as it was. And my my mum, my mum, <laughs> you know, the woman that gave birth to me and then was there from the very beginning. You know, I lost her. She was gone. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Richie, you promised me that you'd be here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I'm just going through such a shit time financially. I just got no, no money. I've got Christmas coming and I'm just in debt and oh my god, I just Oh my god. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway. I thought I was coping better, I tried to hide it, but it can't be hidden, guys, it can't. You need to, you need to get help, you need to speak to somebody. If it's this bad, you need to speak to somebody. And I'm just waiting for that call, I'm just waiting for that help. You know, we'll get it, I know we will. And then the next post will be a, maybe a slightly brighter me. I truly hope so. <sighs> but, um, it's coming to the end of 2021 now, and I'm not looking forward to next year. I'm not. I'll be honest, I'm not. Because I don't know what's going to happen. I never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Life's been so cruel to my family. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to expect anything. I'm not going to expect the full year to go without a loved one going, I'm not going to expect um, a full bill of health with everybody. I'm just not. And that's what it's got to. It's got to the fact that I want to sleep through the new year. I don't want to. I don't want to know it. I really don't. Because to me, it's not years now. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime that I've lost my family. <laughs> I don't know if you realise how much I miss you, Rich. <laughs> when we, when, no, one of my daughters put that picture up. I got four angels and you were there. I just couldn't. I just kept saying no. It's just no, no, no. But it's true. It's not a dream. It's not a nightmare. It's true. Now I've got to seek help to learn to go with that. And I will. I will. I love my four angels so much. Four. Four of my family's gone. Not just one. Not even two. Oh. Cool.